Hi, this is Lee Wen. Welcome to my newsletter for January 2024. Let me first start off by wishing you a happy new year. I'd like to introduce you now to my friend, Ellie Hall. Ellie Hall is a USA Today bestselling author, and I had the privilege of working with her as we both, um, along with 18 other authors, made the bestseller list back in 2021. And Ellie is the sweetest person, and I just really enjoyed getting to know her better and also reading her books. And here's a little bit about her. She loves puppies, books, and the ocean. Writing sweet romance with lots of firsts and fizzy feelings gives her joy. Oh, and chocolate chip cookies are her fave. Ellie believes in dreaming big, working hard, and lazy Sunday afternoons spent with her family and dog, and gratitude for dog's grace. And Ellie writes sweet and swoony, clean romance. And there are different, a lot of different genres that she writes, including cowboys, Christmas, and romantic comedy. And I especially love her romantic comedies. I will put the link below to her YouTube channel so you can check out her audiobooks. And here's one I'd like to highlight. It's called Dare to Love My Grumpy Boss. And in this um, audiobook, we have a grumpy guy in cybersecurity with abs of steel, the forever marriage match dare, a gal with an affection for mules, expensive cheese and chocolate, and a survival of the fittest camp in the rainforest. So be sure to check out her channel and you'll find a whole bunch of audiobooks in different subgenres that you will be sure to enjoy. And now I'd like to share with you one of my audiobooks on this channel. It's called How to Kiss a Guy in 10 Days. And if you didn't know, I actually have a whole series of sweet young adult romances. And these all take place at a performing arts school. And this particular book is, um, features a fake relationship, a cinnamon roll hero, it's just really sweet, and if you have any teenagers who love to listen to audiobooks, this is a good one for them. And now here's an update on my work in progress, which is actually a finished work. I finished Rescuing the Rockstar. The final word count was 46,162 words. It's a little short of what I wanted to uh, get to, but I'm really glad I was able to finish it and give it a satisfying ending, which I think is the most important part. And this book will be releasing on Leap Day, which is February 29th, so in a couple of weeks. And I look forward to sharing more about that with you. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy reading!